Okay, we're back with another painting video, this time from Marvel United's X-Men, which has just delivered. And I've decided to paint um, a couple of these characters. So I've got Wolverine for this video, uh, using Citadel Contrast Paints as per normal. So just getting set up. So with the... Um, with these miniatures, they're great by the way, uh, a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Um, some great detail, even with the hair on his arms and everything there as well, superb. So these should be really fun to paint up, I'm really looking forward to these. My first shivy miniatures. I do have a load of super fancy brawl to paint. And we've got Jonah Buck, and we've got, we'll soon have Simon Kane. So there's still plenty more to paint. Um, but I'm going to just start with this one first of all. Okay. So, as always, we want a nice Gilliman flesh. Start with the skin tone. It's been a while since I painted. I've been uh, very busy, um, but glad to be back into the, onto the paint, onto the painting board. Okay, so we're looking here. And again, we're just gonna go straight in with the contrast paints here. Try not to go over the teeth so that we can use the apothecary to kind of work that in. Yeah, I was really surprised by the by the detail on these uh, and makes me want the Marvel United one original stuff even more. Played the game already once before already and it's uh, it's really nice, very quick, a lot quicker than I thought. Um, I really enjoyed it. So his arms. I'm just gonna go over the hair As well. What I love about these miniatures is they've got some great detailing. It should come really out really nicely with the contrast paints. Now notice that the speed paints have come out, the army paint is it army painters speed paints? I haven't seen what they're like, but obviously because I've now got so much of the range of this, so I won't be purchasing the speed paints, so there's, no, there's no point getting two of them. But whether they're better than Citadel, I don't know. Could possibly be. Maybe uh, comment on this video if you're using the Army Painter speed paints. Especially if you've had experience with contrast paints before. Now the beauty of these chivy m miniatures is that I don't think they'll take too long to paint. So this is flesh tone done. Now the beauty of Wolverine, of course, is his kind of blue and yellow um, costume. So I and yellow. Such a good one. I need to get a new bottle of this. I'm right on the last dregs of it. So that's the one I need to get. Being the lighter of the two, this is why we're starting with this. So straight on to the head. I kind of want it to be pretty vibrant. So I think we, I think it goes all the way. Yeah, around the back as well. I'm just pulling that, pulling, so it doesn't pull at the top of the head there. Try and get it relatively even. This is quite a flat surface, which Citadel contrast paints are not good for.
And I think the speed paints, if I remember hearing rightly, they're a bit thinner. So they're less susceptible to that pooling. Pooling. Yeah. And I'm hoping, yeah, we've got plenty of detail on this. So the kind of chlorish detailing is not yellow. But everything else is. As we go around the back, detailing now. Again, not being too worried about getting it where the blue's going because the blue is much darker in tone. So it should just go through the yellow. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> not being stupid about it, but also not being too worried about it. We go in. What's that? It's called C sometimes. Um, looks as though you should have this is going to be all yellow so it's going to get uh, this neck if I can As we got, sorry, I'm a bit quiet. I'm just really focusing on the details as best I can. Um, okay, so then we've got these again. I think we will bring, let the tip of the brush kind of do its work again. Not worrying if I'm going a little bit over it. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Just whilst out of shot, I'm just looking. A little bit more detail, right? So I'm gonna clean the brush. You should, you should always do relatively frequently while you're using the contrast paints. Don't wanna clog it up while using any paints, to be honest. And um, we're gonna keep going with the yellow up to the legs now. And that's all the way around here. Um, 
change. As we keep going around. Okay, gone gone over the um the area I'm gonna be doing in dark blue, but again, it's not too much of a problem. Stop stopping that pooling as well or else it'll look a little bit silly. Okay. Cool, so I think that's the yellow. Now done for our Wolverine. So next up, I'm gonna go straight into this blue. So this blue is a dark blue, so I have got Leviathan blue. It's probably the perfect one for this. Nice silky dark blue. Should give us a nice velvety blue, hopefully, not too dark. That's pretty much perfect if you look at the art. Now, obviously, now we be careful because if we uh, get this and we don't want it, uh, that's a problem, especially on these areas. These, um kind of like flat areas. So just be really careful, especially at this part here, because this is just gonna be so prevalent in the miniature. Perfect color. I just, mm, I'm okay with that. I've got too much paint on my brush. You know, it's, oh, not. Has that gone into his cheek? I think it's okay if I just touch it up. Yeah, that's fine. Luckily. Beautiful colour. That's why we call a very regal blue. Kind of bluey purple colour. Yeah, that's great. I like the fact they're using the classic Wolverine here in the art, comic book style. Oh, that's, I mean, don't worry about the eye. I can touch up the eye later. Ooh. Shaky, shaky.
<laughs> Whoops. He's closed his eye. Cool. So that's the head then. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Forgot about his uh, strap here. gone over just a bit too much there so I'll need to change that okay cool right, let's move on now are these blue or black stripes hmm I can't remember what cap. Uh, is it is it all this dark blue? I don't I think these are lighter blue. So let's just move on to these. God, this, is, this is a little bit tricky work, steady hand work. Especially with that much paint on my brush. we go through these stripes now. They are detailed pretty well on these. That does make it even, it doesn't make it easier if it's in a position which is not easy. So this is good practice at your um, brush skills. There's so there's a bit missing off the uh, tip of his ear piece. I'm just go slowly. Best as you can, not easy this. Okay, it's so arguably the hardest bit's done. Now these ones down by his side. It's important to keep the paint flowing, so you do need some paint on your brush. But if you over overfill it, you can struggle to uh, missed off some of this yellow, you know, which is really annoying. Oh, that's terrible. Should have left that smallest bit and then it's just gone right over it.
Dust. Oh, shaky, shaky. I think I'm all right with it. You have to use it. This is not easy. Now if he shifts while I'm trying to seem to have slightly lost the tip of this brush now. So I might go in with a, a finer detail brush in a second to try and hit these points because uh, this brush is struggling. I will sort that out. <coughs> well, the pants, I suppose. Ah, come on now. I'm super happy with that. I wouldn't say Wolverine's the easiest one to start with, perhaps. My best job. I'm sure you look fine when I've done. Pretty happy with that actually. It's fine. And then we've got the belt after that. So I think use a slightly lighter blue for the other bits. I'm just going to see if I can see some art other than just the main picture. Feeling they're lighter blues. Yeah, not, I, don't, I think they're slightly lighter blues. So quite simply, I'm going to use a little bit of, I'm going to carry on with the Leviathan blue, and I'm going to just mix in some contrast medium into that Leviathan blue. So a bit of contrast medium. Now, I don't want it too light. On it, it just lo it looks very similar. I can't even really tell, so I'm just gonna put one fully loaded, I think. No, two. I'm gonna put two brushes of that contrast medium in there, so about probably about half half. Let's see where we're at. Hopefully, this will give us a slightly 
Um, no. Now we've got to get some blue in that. We've got to get some brighter blue. So just very carefully. Don't want to. Uh, Okay, so mixed in with this, we're going full Talisar, where is it? Full Talisar blue. So I'm going to just grab a big chunky brush full of that. And that should give us the blue tinge we need. Especially because it's got the contrast medium in there as well, so it's going to lighten it up anyway. That's better. Just trying to follow the art on the cover there. Remember, I'm going to go back over those stripes with a thinner brush in a bit. should be noticeable, a not noticeably bluer tinge. But not too, not too different, not too clashing. not to go with the skin tone as well. This really isn't the easiest model to paint. It's a bit like that for Wolverine MCP Wolverine. So for this is even smaller. I'm, I'm okay with that. I just went slightly over the yellow there. But not by too much. Cool. All right, carrying on with this color that I've mixed. Oh, by the way, there it is. Mixing this color, uh, we go into the hands, hands, the uh, the gloves. Now, don't worry about the. Um, the, the claws in this one because we're going to go over a lead belcher so I'd rather the glove be fully painted.
Cool. It's really coming along now. Half an hour. I'm not quite sure if it's an explosion um, that we can see on it that he's standing on. Can you see him? Cool. And finally the boots. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's typical that you finish painting some stuff and then you go, ah, oh, I can have a breather. And then everything else starts coming through. <laughs> You're like, oh, no. I mean, there's, uh, I don't know how many miniatures are in this whole set, including stretch goals. That's all I've got. i just got the core box, uh, the, the base pledge. But that comes with a lot of characters. And in fact, a lot of characters don't know about or have never even heard of before. So I've got Marvel Unite... Not United. I've got Marvel Unlimited on my iPad. So I'm going to be finding out about these new characters that I've never heard about. And uh, seeing what their story is. So it makes more sense when I play the game. We are very slowly getting there. But Wolverine's definitely coming along. I've got to sort out those stripes, yeah, still. I love the fact they come with moulded bases. That's uh, so cool. Now, the only issue is, some of them, they wanted to do some kind of uh, transparent plastic effects which are cool if you don't want to paint them. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm just going to carefully, um, I think if you put them in the freezer, you can basically break apart the glue, uh, the glue and parts. So you can remove that before priming and painting them. Um, but it's a bit annoying as a, as a painter. And I'm going to leave it there. I'll call that part one of painting Wolverine. I've got a few touch ups to do around. Okay, cool. Got some base stuff done. Lots more to do. Get some uh, dark brown, I think, in a bit. Okay, so back to Leviathan Blue. St standard. Oh, hang on, I was going to use a No, I'm going to carry on with this brush. I'm just going to try and get those.
So I'm not using another brush. I'm just trying to smarten them up, neaten them up just a little bit. A little bit of paint on the brush. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Is it perfect? No. It's not bad. Okay, let's get that belt done. Next. Just clean and brush again, as always. Checking. Mm. While I've got this paint still a good consistency, and just make sure this bluish part of the legs is properly painted in. Okay. Right. Belt. Nice. Reddish brown, probably go with. I was gonna go snake bite leather, but I think I'll go with gold grunge of fur to give that real nice reddish tinge. And again, we've got metal, so again, not too fussed about going over that. We'll sort that out with the metal on itself. Again, this is a Wraithbone, Citadel Wraithbone spray as a primer, which is perfect for these miniatures because we want them to be a bit more vivid in colour. You could probably go with a white, actually, to give you the maximum. A Corax white undercoat could be quite good here to get proper comic book styling. Mm, a bit pooling there. That's pretty good. Just make sure we're on the top there, and probably just put it in everywhere there. Cool. Okay, uh, we want to kind of get his mouth done. Now, what I've, what I've used in the past, which kind of worked quite well, is Magos Purple. Which is a really kind of cool magic style purple. Don't worry, we're going to go in white as well. And just get like a tongue look to that line. I'll be using. Cool, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Gonna get we want white, 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 white. So I'm gonna get some Corax white, just base paint. Let's go over these things. Let's not decide what I'm gonna do about this. Is it, if we say it's an explosion, we want it kind of like red and stuff like that. I might not put that on this video, I might just do Wolverine himself. See there, we've got some yellow to get put on. Right. Need to get some new white. Okie dokie. 
So we're gonna go into this eye. I wonder if I should have. Mm. Okay, I'll try and follow the other one. Then the teeth. Shall I tell you what might work? A little bit of Reichlin flush shape. Over that whole mouth area. I'll just give it a little bit more contrast. It takes a second to dry the white. Obviously I could go back over wasn't a contrast paint but some of it won't be okay let's hit the black hair green well it's brown hair isn't he uh probably dark yes yeah, like blackish dark brown okay cycle brown really nice dark brown the arm here. Hopefully that doesn't look too stupid. I think as a clump looks better. So I'm gonna, I think this is a clump. That's better. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad as a big clump. Okay, we've got the metal to do, and I think I'll leave that, and then we'll leave it there. Mm -hmm. So, changing over to my other brush, for my tacks, and going in with the usual lead belcher. Uh, I think we're going to do a bit of highlighting maybe with the uh, Rimfang Steel, which is a nice bright metallic colour. Okay. Do, do, do. 
do, 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 do. up from underneath nearly there a bit more water with the paint make sure it's flowing okay next ones Finish up the uh, claws here. Cool, now we've got the belt buckle to do. Okay. And other than layering on a little bit of colour to the metal, the level green is done. Apart from his base, of course, which is quite a bit to do. You've got to figure out what's going on there. It's like an explosion, bits of, is that pavement and debris or some sort of metal? Hmm. I'll have a look at that. Uh, while we've got, we'll wait for that metal to dry and come back with the iron and yellow. Just touch up those couple of points where I uh, missed it. Now this bit here, we don't want to make it too obvious, but... The neck shouldn't have white on it now, cool. Belcher, to be honest, I'm not going to darken that with, a, with going over it. I'm just going to come in with some Runefang steel and almost highlight up parts of it. Give it a little bit more shine up and, up and ping it. <laughs> right, I guess the teeth. Just want to go in there with that white again. Uh, that white seemed to be honest to have had it. <laughs> So just to make sure we get a, at least a coverage, I'm just going to go in with a Wraithbone base, 
Aquí para. Forget through that. Cool. I will say that Wolverine himself is now done. Thing is down there needs doing, doesn't it? Still got a tiny bit that's left as well, so I should just be able to touch that up. Inside boot there, still needs a bit more. Oh, man, I, can't, I can't see that by eye. Done it enough that you honestly cannot see that by Cool. Okay. So while I've got the wraith bone, what I want to do now is touch up this. Uh, next job is to touch this up, make sure this is all white before we go in with like fiery smoke or whatever we're going to do. And then um, get the, uh, whatever I'm deciding this base is going to be, uh, some kind of concrete metal and stuff. Um, and that's for another time. Okay. Well, it's good to get painted again. Hope you enjoyed it. This was uh, Marvel United X-Men Wolverine. My first shivy miniature to paint. It wasn't the easiest. <laughs> I'm going I'm to say that now, straight out of the bat. Um, but yeah, I think these are all going to be quite hard to do. Maybe Storm might be easier to do next. Anyway, thanks for watching. And keep watching to see some more Marvel United being painted, as well as other games too. Until next time, keep painting.